Hello mathematicians, welcome back to Underwater Math. Today we are learning all about how to represent multi-step problems using strip diagrams. Off we go. Strip diagrams are rectangular models that help us visualize the problem so we can solve for the unknown variable. One half of the diagram represents the total amount of something, and the other half is broken up into a sum of parts. The number of parts vary with each problem. Let's look at our first problem together. Colby and Zoe are going to the zoo. Together, they bought two admission tickets, one bucket of popcorn and one soda to share. They are splitting the total cost evenly. Draw a strip diagram showing how to find M, the amount of money each person will pay. Each ticket costs $25, popcorn is $7 and soda is $5. Let's create our strip model to help visualize this problem. We will make the top half of our diagram represent the total amount of money spent. The total is split between two people. So let's split this section evenly. We use variable M as the amount each person pays. This is our unknown, so we'll call each of these portions M. The bottom half of our diagram represents the parts that get added together to equal our total, or the sum of parts. We will split this section to represent the items bought at the zoo and then replace those items with the cost for each one. And there you have it. We created a strip diagram to represent our problem. This can help us visualize what our variable M will equal. Let's try another. Colby and Zoe were most excited to visit Stella the elephant at the zoo. Stella eats 300 pounds of food per day. Today she ate 110 pounds at breakfast and 70 pounds at lunch. Draw a strip diagram showing how to find P, the pounds of food she ate at dinner. These are all the quantities we are given in this problem. Can you find which quantity represents the total amount and which ones represent the sum of parts? Brilliant. 300 pounds is the total amount she eats per day. And these are the parts. Breakfast, lunch and the unknown dinner amount, represented by P. Now let's put it together in a diagram. We put the total on one half of the model and break the second half into three parts, labeling them with our quantities. We've done it. This model helps us visualize our problem using our unknown variable, P. Creating strip diagrams can help us break up complex problems. What a terrific tool to have in our tool belt. Thanks for helping me today. See you next time.